This video is to show you how to properly use the vapor sphere to vaporize alcohol. We have the regular and the fancy. Both are used exactly the same. The only difference is the style and the look of the two different products. Let me show you how simple it is to use. All you do is you take the plastic cover off the candle, take a lighter, light the candle, Take the candle, place it in the cup. I like to hold the cup at about a 40 degree or 45 degree angle and let the candle slide down slowly inside of it. Once the candle is inside, all you need to do is fill your sphere with alcohol. And you do this by taking your stainless steel funnel, placing it inside, just like so, grabbing any alcohol that's anywhere between 80 and 100 proof. Today we're using Wild Turkey 101, happens to be one of my favorites. You pour about an ounce, ounce and a half of alcohol into the funnel. And that's it. You take the funnel out, place it on top, and in about four minutes, you're ready to start vaporizing your alcohol. Now, this funnel was designed to where it will sit on top of your straw so if you're somewhere and you're worried about losing or misplacing your funnel it can stay with your vapor sphere everywhere you take it the idea was to be able to have something that you could hold just like a regular glass and easily enjoy just like a regular drink after you place the sphere on top of the candle after about four minutes you'll see condensation forming inside of the sphere this lets you know that there are now vapors inside of the sphere and it's ready to enjoy. All you need to do is take the straw, pull it out of the liquid, and inhale the vapors into your lungs. Remember, breathe into your lungs, not your stomach. If you inhale the vapors into your stomach, you won't get the desired effect you're looking for. That's it, simple as that. The heat resistant glass allows you to hold this just like a regular drink and every time you want to enjoy more, all you need to do, take the straw, pull it out of the liquid, inhale the vapors, and that's it. That's simple. It usually takes about four or five attempts to get good at vaporizing alcohol, but after you get used to it, you'll be able to control your buzz much easier than when you're drinking. If you find you're getting a little too buzzed, just take more time between your next vapor hit. Or if you find that you're getting a little sober, you just take another vapor hit. And that's it, you can pick your buzz right back up. Each one to one and a half ounces of alcohol should last you about 40 minutes of vaporizing. So after you vaporized your alcohol for about 40 minutes, you'll want to take the sphere off the top, remove the straw, pour the alcohol out, and replace it with a new shot. After you've done that, you just go ahead and stick your straw back into the sphere, set it on top of the candle, and in about four minutes, you'll be ready to inhale again. When you vaporize alcohol, the taste of the alcohol is much smoother and less harsh than when you drink alcohol. I just vaporized Wild Turkey 101, and if I took a shot of this, I would need a chaser because the uh, taste of alcohol just doesn't do it for me. But you'll find when you vaporize it, you can taste it, but it's much smoother and goes down much easier. Well, I hope this video was helpful and it answered all your questions as to how to properly vaporize alcohol using the vapor sphere. After your first couple of times, you'll get used to vaporizing and you'll feel quite comfortable using this in just about any social environment. Good luck, and we hope that you enjoy the vaporsphere.